President Tsai Ing-wen says Taiwan hopes to work with the U.S., Japan and other partners to counter global threats. She was speaking at the annual Taiwan-U.S.-Japan Trilateral Indo-Pacific Security Dialogue in Taipei. Tsai said that only by working together can the world tackle threats like Chinese aggression, natural disasters and international crime. Kurt Campbell, who was an assistant secretary of state for the Obama administration, attended the forum virtually. He said there was a bipartisan consensus in the U.S. on protecting Taiwan's democracy and strengthening its military defense. Speaking at the Taiwan-U.S.-Japan Trilateral Indo-Pacific Security Dialogue, President Tsai addressed the many challenges that Taiwan has faced in 2020. The South China Sea has become increasingly militarized. Taiwan has been at the receiving end of such military threats on a daily basis. Taiwan continued to welcome old and new friends and form partnerships with like-minded allies, particularly the United States, Japan, and Czech Republic. Tsai noted that 2020 was the fifth anniversary of the Global Cooperation and Training Framework. She said she was pleased to see Japan, Sweden, Australia, and the Netherlands partner with the framework. Taiwan hopes to work with its partners to tackle global issues, she said. GCTF is a unique platform through which Taiwan and the U.S. have set up workshops to train officials and experts to address non-traditional security and emerging global issues. When natural disasters occur, Taiwan and its regional partners are prepared to help. Our strategic interests in maintaining a strong relationship with Taiwan. I also think that the United States to be effective is going to have to both rejoin international organizations. Ultimately, I'd love to see an environment in which tensions are reduced between Taiwan and Beijing. Our goal, however, is to assure commitment to Taiwan's democracy. Campbell served as Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs under the Obama administration. Via teleconference, he said there was a bipartisan consensus on the preservation of Taiwan's democracy.